Oh, this is the whole squad. Josh, Josh met Connor. This is the whole squad right here. We deep. <laughs> Hey, you. I'm Justin. Robbie. Uh, <laughs> I need like a forced mute button where I can just mute everybody at the same time. Hey, where'd my gimbal go? Did they see it already? Sure did. Okay, it's, it's all good. I did. I was here. I How you doing? I didn't even leave it out though in case you wanted to. Yeah, we'll get some B roll of it. Can I just slip this on you real quick? Oh, yeah. It'll be easy because you're just in the road, so. Are you going, putting it to the top of the dress? Um, you could just clip, it has a, you're wearing like a dress? Yeah. You could do that or I can give you the leg strap where we can, what do you think would be easier? Probably the leg strap. Leg I'm strap? I'm thinking it'll be too, this is like so thin. Okay, do me a favor then, I'll give you the mic and then you just clip, you just uh, stick this and then I'll get you the leg strap. Go through the dress, let it just hang down through the dress. Okay. Doesn't she know she's supposed to call my planner, not me? Yeah. <laughs> She's tripping. That's my centerpiece lady. Just drop that through your dress. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then when you sit down, just set it down. I'll go grab you a leg strap and come back. Yep. Boom. And then just stick that. Don't stick it there because remember we yeah, the yeah. tan. So just put it like somewhere over to the side. Make sure it's facing up. Can I do it right here like on the strap? No, go all the way low. Because that might be shown in your dress, you know? Yeah. There you go. That's good. And then just sit there with that and I'll, I'll get you a leg strap and come back. Okay. I literally have like an entire club rented and getting set up out there. So y'all, y'all could literally like pass out in a corner and on a on a booth. Josh, I'm gonna give you the mics and stuff for the uh, guys, and then obviously we're gonna mic uh, Jason. But then I'll let you just kind of pick who you want to mic uh, as far as the two second people, and they'll be mic'd all day. Do you know how to mic in between the buttons on the shirts when they get dressed? Yeah, like the lapels I have have like these little. Um, you know, when they get dressed, I'll probably just come over and do it because it'll take me a quick second. Okay, I got you. I'll show you. Once I show you with the getting ready, um, you'll see. It'll, it'll make sense. All right, so all you got to do is put one of these stickies on, but it's super sticky. I'm going to give you a handful of them. Okay. And then you put, I always pull it off like this. Yep. So if they just had on a T-shirt, just go mm -hmm. under the shirt, stick it right there, and then just have them clip it on their waist and right, tuck it in. Right, but this under the shirt, so like stick yep. this So on. his, we're going to do it like this. And we give him. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> all right, so all I'm going to do. And so your recorder's already got it set. So when you're in the room, it's already time code. You just, we're just going to hit record on it and just let it run. You know? Perfect. All right, so I'm going to pop this through. It's about to get your hair, man. I'm sorry. Do you want to get my hair? Right there, yeah. Good Lord. It's OK. That's yeah, I could probably go right here. No, no, that's fine. No, we'll go right here. But let's leave it buttoned in. Can we button these top two? You cool with that? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, hi, some mic? Okay. okay. Now we won't get the hair. I see. So you want it in between the flaps? Like I want it here. And that's the same way I do the shirt. So like when, on their groom shirt, when he's dressed, we put it right here. Right there. Got yep. It. All right, that's easy. Sorry, probably going to come out a little bit. Okay. Sweet. And then you can put that in the belt. Yep. And I, look, I do it this way. So I take the body and I put it inside the pants like this. Oh, Instead yeah. of it hanging out. Yeah, right. I do it like that. Yep. You free balling today? Hmm? You free balling? No. <laughs> no. You're fucking it down. I got you. I got you. I got you. I was about to say, you go ahead and do it. You ain't got to let me do it. Like... <laughs> Not today. <laughs> All right, you good. Hey, am I good to come back in? All right, cool. Oh, shoot, we got champagne. Yeah, perfect timing. How are you? We meet again. Yes. All right, so you said you said Monica and Nancy going to be drunk before the ceremony? Um, it's going to be Nancy that's going to be um, wasted before the ceremony. Yeah, like, like she's innocent. She miss innocent over here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah girl, you got to get wasted. I am not going to get wasted. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to try it. What was your name again? Isabel. Isabel. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's on the Oh, shoot. I feel dumb. Okay, let me see the turn around real quick. So let's actually, we'll just go around here, clip this. Is that a shirt? Yeah. Drop this all the way through. Just like catch it at the bottom. Sorry. Oh, and then clip it under the shirt. 
So it's hitting. Keep going down lower, lower, lower. About right there is good. On your skin, just hold it there. And then I'll actually let you clip it. Just clip it on your shorts. And then that excess cable, you're going to tuck in. Just kind of like ball it up like this. Once you clip it in, then just like we'll fold the cable and then just tuck that in so that it's not hanging when you're walking and stuff. I'm definitely putting the mic on you, but probably like right after the ceremony until like the reception. I feel like you're just going to get some good audio. That's all. It's a good reason why you have a mic. <laughs> so after doing my interviews, I realized that Nancy and Jenny, definitely the ones that's just not going to hold back. Like it's just full force all day. Two, four, one. 30 frames per second. Yeah, you're good to go. And you got your time code plugged in? Yep, cool. Um, this is already running, so if it ever turns off, then like if your battery dies, which it shouldn't because it's the NP, so we can just pop that off and give you another one. Okay. You should get all the way until like after the ceremony. Like you honestly shouldn't have to change that out. This would be like a 40 minute, hour, two, three hour recording. Mm -hmm. That way I can just sync all the clips to one timeline on the audio and do it that way. Yeah. Makes sense. So, no. Just keep it running, and then right before the ceremony, like when we're in position and we're transitioning for ceremony, that's when we'll stop this, and we'll do a new take starting for the ceremony. I know, I feel, I'm a part of the family. Like, I was there, y'all don't remember? I was there, like. You're gonna be deaf, you're like, oh, I so totally you're deaf? Yeah, and be like, <laughs> what the? Look at him like, oh, so you Jeff, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. That's literally like the idea, though. It's like, I'm, I'm filming a wedding with the idea of like a reality and then yeah. using it with documentary to get those like, yeah, so awesome. yeah you know, like that's kind of like the idea. So, cause it's yeah. popular, but you can right. tell that stuff is like staged. These like and real people in love, that. right. right? That's the thing. Yep. That's what I told them. That. I was like, so the video takes to be a little different. I was like, because <laughs> he, he walks in and sees this, like, oh, okay. Can I show you something before you? Are you about to get ready and do details? Yeah. Can I, I just show you the like, ceremony? These two lights that I got. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, if, I mean, if you want to, or if I can come back, we can do it whenever. The same, yeah, right? Yeah, and the extra V mount, like, we're good. Yeah. Let me give you your time code. Josh is running audio. I'll, um, I'll show you who's mic right now. Okay. And then when he mics the third person, th that way you know, like, who's actually wearing mics. Um, and then it kind of helps you, like, film as they're talking, stuff like that. Okay. You'll basically just be around Josh and this area, the setup area, until the ceremony. And then I'll tell you exactly where you'll be for that part at that time. Okay. So Do you want to see that little room real quick, actually? Yeah. yeah. Um, bro, your camera, the pocket, is it by the case straight ahead? All right. Just come with me. I'll, I'll, I'll get you in a second. All right, so when they're in here, um, just basically, like, you'll just record. What I'm going to do is unplug hers mm -hmm. and have you throw it here. Okay. I got a feeling I'm going to disconnect being That's all the way in there. And then once you, basically, we'll just meet up, like, in between, and then I'll take it back, throw it yeah. on here. I'm over here like sweating and panting and he's out there like it's another day. <laughs> now will you do you cross the front or do you no, cross in the back? I okay, never cool. cross okay. the front. It's awkward. No, so, yeah. Like, yeah, I'll never <laughs> cross the front. So the only time I'm in the front is while people are filling in. Okay. Just so I can like kind of pivot and get her from the front. Okay. Walking down, you know, oh. and I'm kinda of like and then besides that, I'm like working the site kind of discreetly. Yeah. Will you in, go behind? I would only go behind if it was an outdoor ceremony. So you can get, okay. So that, gotcha. but in, in indoor spaces like that, never go behind because I just think it's too much of a distraction. Now, because of how they're walking in, my plan, my thought anyway, when we tested it, is I probably put Josh, like, so Jason was like right here. The, uh, and then his dad was like right here. When we tested it, we were like, off to one corner and we were still able to get that pivot we can just like make sure we're out of the shot they're coming in in like one group and i'll just have josh like one angle wide i usually will be on the gimbal somewhere floating around during processional and so i'll just probably walk by you be like yo is he good and if it's yeah. like an issue i'll just tell him to step down find another angle you, if you do what you normally do what works best for me is then i figure out how to make my shots work Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's always like if I try to think about, like, I know you're normally in the middle, so we are used to being on those sides. But if you want to flow and you're on this side, then we'll, we'll kind of like adjust to what yeah, you think perfect. you need. You know what I mean? Yeah. So only time I float is like just very minimal. Okay. So, Dope. Sounds good. I just, I always hate it. Photographers are like, oh no, we don't care if there's a tripod. I'm like, if I was a photographer, I would care. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, okay. yeah. So I think like we have a cover. It's easy. It's like we work together already. I know. Well, just so you know, I'm making like a stage, so you'll be like in the middle all by yourself. Really? I hope that helps with your nerves. <laughs> <laughs>
All this thought around me, damn but look, I got it right. Don't you try to hit me now, you live a petty life. All those nights I lay to wake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a petty life. Ceremony, stop it. Uh, after the ceremony and then cocktail hour will be one recording. And then we'll start it again for the whole reception. Right. By then, though, I think the reception, you won't have one. It'll just be the main one plugged into the DJ stuff. Kind of okay. come back over here. Camera. Film her. Okay. Yeah. So guys, looking over here. Here we go. One, two, three. Big, big smiles. Cheers. Okay. All right. Now I need us to like raise glasses on the count of three. Woohoo! Yeah. No, no, no. Her, her. Yes. Okay. So now we're gonna do a shot. Vanessa, I want you looking at me. You're gonna look at me and be like, yes. But bridesmaids, you guys are all like looking at each other, cheersing at each other. I'm gonna have you out there already on the dad's face. You can get a rack focus if you want to, whatever you want to do creatively. But basically, once you get in position, you're going to take the bride's face. Yep. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to be on the gimbal. I'm going to float and try to get her walking through that, but like yeah. all that foreground. Yeah. And then I'll get to my spot. And Robbie will be in here getting whatever emotion happens to happen if she's like looking at her dad, like, oh my God, my dad's right there. Like, you know, whatever that looks like. Yeah. And then he'll just kind of film here when they open the doors and just kind of plant here. You'll be back in the room with Vanessa. but. Don't worry about the video. I have the video, but try to get as many faces. If anybody's yeah. crying, like try to get as many reactions as possible. Yep. Am I gonna be in the, on the bride side, by the way, on the aisle? You're gonna be, um, yeah, you're gonna be in the front during processional. I'll show you. <laughs> Let me just, you know, hit Sixth Street with those, you know. <laughs> if you both pivot this way, then you and I will come there and we can shoot Dad's face this direction. Um, don't move until after the dad fully turns around. Like, you're going to be back far, and I'm going to frame the dad. But, like, don't move, because I want to see Vanessa's initial shock yeah. as well. So just hold that, and then, like, just quickly reposition to, get, to keep getting her face. Got it. Um, at that time, I'm going to have you in the ceremony area. You'll see two tripods. Is it in there? This building. You'll see two tripods. Actually, at that time, I'll have you switch to 70 to 200. Yeah. I was going to say just stay inside the building. Like, open the door and just leave the – yeah, like, just kick that thing down and just stay there and just – because I'm gonna float out here. I mean, you can move there since you won't be in the shot. <laughs> 